We and in a little challenge now with our marching section, we are going to get the arms and the legs going in theory with your participants. So hopefully you'll see other people marching all the way through. Carol is going to try and get all the way through without stopping her legs moving. And we're going to do some different arms to give you an idea of some things that you can do with your class. So sometimes this can just break up in between your strength work um, or in between different sections. You might just do a bit of marching to get that blood flowing again. But in the school morning, wherever you are, if it's school room, marching can be great way to pick up that pace, get that heart beat going, and get all the arms and legs working out and everything moving. So we start off with our razzle dazzle. If you've done any of our courses, you might notice this one comes up as three different variations in a few different ways because we like to bring it in any way we can. This is our freestyle marching version of the Razzle Dazzle and just moving those arms side to side. So you want to try and get those hands flat and the wrists straight and those elbows bent and in at the waist and just moving side to side. All right. You can see this brings up a smile on towel every time we do the Razzle Dazzle. Then we do our obliques. A little less exciting, but still a good one. So we're going to reach both arms up to the corner and down, and up and down, up and down. So this is another one we want to stretch through those arms and reach those all the way through to those fingers. And you want to encourage your participants to do that. So reach and into the chest, reach and again. If they can, we also encourage you to look up at those hands and get those kids turning. That can be a really good one just to encourage this balance and even just if you're walking down the street with participants and things like that. So they can move that head around and be looking, not necessarily where they're going. That'll give them a little confidence if they're looking in different directions. All right. Now we've got our narrow and wide. So we march those feet four in narrow, like Carol is doing. And you can see she's shuffling forward on that seat so she can move those feet out wide. So all of these marching ones, you might want to get your participants to move forward on the chair to start with, just so they've got a bit more flexibility and movement through those legs. This is our narrow and wide. You can see four in narrow, and then Carol takes those feet out wide. Just four out wide. Four marches. Now, how wide you go will just be up to your participants and then get flexibility and strength. So then you can be too wide, just out wide. And in, in, and swing those arms nice and relaxed for the narrow and wide. We've got our open elbows, so back to that normal mark. Then we lift those elbows up in front and open them out wide, in and down. Up, out, in and down. So we want that nice square elbow. You can see Carol has that square elbow all the way through, and that's what we want to see with that elbow up at shoulder level. Place those fists out wide, in and down. And you can pick up the pace. You can do that half time with those paces, or you can do it double time. So you can do two steps up, two steps out, two steps in and down, or pick up that pace a little quicker. So you might want to introduce it slow and then have that extra time by picking up that music and that tempo speed and working that arms a little faster on the open elbow. Then we move on to our forward punches, nice and easy, just a forward punch straight out in front. And we want to do the opposite hand to leg on this one. So keep an eye on your participants, because you might see them doing the same thing, and you might just have to remind them to look down and then start again and reset and try and get that opposite punch with the leg. All right, keep the shoulders down, keep the elbows up. So instead of starting from down here, we like the elbows up because it's a little harder that way, and then punch out from there. All right, then we've got our window cleaning. So those palms are flat again in the front. You can see Carol seamless. No stopping of those legs. Fantastic. And we are going to do our window cleaning. We're going to scrub one way with those hands, and then we're going to scrub the other way. We want to keep the shoulders down on this one, and we want to keep those shoulders back. Back up nice and tall. And of course, we're engaging those abdominal muscles all the way through as we're marching those legs. So you come to lift those feet up off the floor, those abdominals are doing some work. So I remind your participants that they need to be engaging with those muscles. All right, we've got our tread water. So we have those hands down by our sides. With the marching, we're going to sweep it back and then turn the hands over and push through that water coming forward. Turn the palms, take it back. Turn the palms, sweep it through. So you might want to do four steps forward and 
and with the hands coming forward, four marches as the hands go back, or you might pick up the pace and do two and two. Two and two. Again, that will just depend on your classes and what you want to go for. If you want to make it more flexibility and push them up at the back, do it a little slower, and you might bring those arms right up forward, or you can do just a more shallow tread water and just do it a little bit smaller and a bit faster. All right, Carol is hoping we are nearly there because we have only those legs working hard. All right, we would usually say if you're doing it in class, you wouldn't be doing this continually with those legs going all the time, depending on your class, obviously, but you might want to give those legs a rest after every few exercises. All right, stop talking. We will do the push down sunburst. Stop, Carol, we're nearly there. Push down. We four pushes down, and then we do a nice big sunburst up to the roof. Push, 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 push. Reach the arms and push, 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 push. Reach the arms. We have a good sunburst as well. It just makes it happen. Alrighty, so elbows up high. Get those hands moving right up to the shoulders and down if you can from your participants. Right up, right down. And then slip those arms right up and right down to the side. Four push downs, one big thunder. All right, that is our marching section. If you have done it all the way through with us as well, well done from both of us. You've done a great job. As I said, we wouldn't have such a long section of marching where we disperse that with each other. If you've got other equipment, if you're doing any weight work, or you've got a staff, or doing one of our full exercises, then you can do some of those and then some marching. And that's what I think all marching could be part of your warm up to get that body all warmed up before they do some more strenuous exercises. All right, have a go with those. See how you go. Try and keep on beating up rhythm with that left and right and see how you can do some as well. Good luck.